Hey there, my name is Dr. Cork and today I'm going to make blue cocktails. Blue, not in the sense that these are sad cocktails, but just that they will all have a nice blue color. I have to say that blue drinks and blue food has a not well-deserved reputation as something artificial, unnatural and harmful. Well, that is, but uh, it's not very clear how the blue food coloring is more harmful than, say, red or brown. I think it's all prejudice. People who choose brown M&Ms as something more natural are especially amusing, because the darker the color of the dye, the higher the concentration. But that's for another time. The easiest and most obvious way to make a cocktail blue is to use blue curacao liqueur. But if you don't have liqueur, you can just use blue curacao syrup. Just dilute it one to one with vodka or other light alcohol and you get about the same liqueur. And if you don't have syrup either, I can make a video of how to make one at home. Just leave a comment and hit like. Ok, blue cocktails. The most famous of them and pretty awful is the Blue Lagoon. I talked about it recently in my video about overrated cocktails, you can check it out. I'll do an improved version near the end of this video, but let's start with something more interesting. The first cocktail is called Ocean Mist. It is a variation on tequila sour, it's simple and easy with orange and apricot notes and a nice light blue color. The cocktail is shaken and to the shaker we're gonna add tequila, a regular Blanco tequila will do, 2 ounces, 60 milliliters, apricot brandy, though it's not brandy, but a liqueur with brandy and apricot. 3 quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters. Freshly squeezed lemon juice, 3 quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters. An egg white, if you don't like egg whites, you can use foam maker or aquafaba or something else, vegan friendly. And a little pinch of salt, this is the ocean after all. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Then we take a cocktail glass, add a little bit of blue curacao to the bottom, about half an ounce, 15 milliliters, and strain the cocktail. A couple dashes of orange bitters on top, and garnish with a dried orange chip. I can smell orange and a little bit of apricot in the scent, maybe it's self-inflicted, because I know it's there. Blue Curacao doesn't stand out too much, which is often the case with uh, blue cocktails. Very balanced, pleasant taste, a little bit salty. I, I, I can't say that it's salty, it's just a little bit more punctuated, <laughs> if you can say so. If you like margaritas and the combination of orange and tequila, this is definitely the cocktail for you. Cheers. Blue Mojito. The simple variation on the classic mojito, generally made with rum, mint and lime, with light hints of orange and a nice color. This cocktail was invented by my YouTube buddy David Edwards from the Booze on the Rocks channel. Check him out, he makes a lot of great cocktails there. The link is in the description to this video. Unlike the classic mojito, this cocktail is shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add mint. Wake up the mint and add six or eight leaves. The beauty of this cocktail is that it's strained, so there's no mint in the cocktail itself and it does not interfere with my enjoyment of it. The next thing you're gonna need is white rum. A 2 ounces, 60 milliliters. Simple syrup, which is water and sugar, 1 to 1. 3 quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters. And freshly squeezed lime juice, 1 ounce, 30 milliliters. And last but not least, blue curacao. Just a touch, a quarter ounce, 7 to 8 milliliters ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating this shake to this comment. Now we take a tulip glass, fill it with ice and fine strain the cocktail. A little bit more ice and top up with soda water, about 2 ounces, 60 milliliters. Stir a little and garnish with a mint sprig. Mm, great taste. Not overly minty. A little hint of orange. Very refreshing, maybe even more so than the original mojito. I definitely recommend it. The next cocktail is called Blue Water. 
Don't confuse it with Blue Water Breeze, which is a different cocktail with coconut rum and coconut water. This one is with creme de cacao, so cacao liqueur, rum and, of course, blue curacao. Like all the other cocktails today, this one is shaken. And to the shaker we're gonna add white rum, <laughs> one and a half ounce, 45 milliliters, creme de cacao or cacao blanc liqueur, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, blue curacao, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, freshly squeezed lime juice, three quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters, and pineapple juice. You can use freshly squeezed pineapple juice or just buy something that's 100% juice and nothing else. One ounce, 30 milliliters. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Fill the old-fashioned glass with ice and fine strain the cocktail. Garnish with a lime wheel. Mm. Pretty sweet, although I haven't added any simple syrup, but a lot of liqueurs. Refreshing. Yes, it's kind of a tiki cocktail. I like the combination of cacao liqueur and pineapple juice. It's pretty unusual. I don't taste any blue curacao, oranges or something like that, but I think it's for the better. <laughs> Cheers. And the last cocktail for today is Blue Lagoon. The first thing we're gonna need is vodka, one and a half ounce, 45 milliliters, blue curacao liqueur, one ounce, 30 milliliters. You can definitely use less blue curacao, but the original recipe calls for 30 milliliters or one ounce. Freshly squeezed lemon juice, half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Simple syrup, also half an ounce, 15 milliliters. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it like there's no tomorrow. Dedicating the shake to this comment. Fill the highball glass with ice and fine strain the cocktail. Stir a little and top up with soda, about three ounces, 90 milliliters. Stir a little more and garnish with some cherries. Now, that's a Blue Lagoon. I have made a Blue Lagoon uh, using the original recipe that calls for 7-Up or Sprite and no lemon juice, and it sucks. But this one is okay. It is balanced by lemon juice. You can use lime juice, of course, and it's like a, a Blue Lagoon Fizz or Blue Lagoon Collins or something like that. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit like, subscribe and ring the bell. All the recipes are on my website dr-cork.com. The link is in the description. You can also subscribe to my Instagram. I have short cocktail recipes there. And also you can support my channel using Patreon. The link is in the description. Patrons get access to additional content and behind the scenes footage. Thank you very much. Bye bye. And as always, до свидос.